Mr. Gallagher, can you sort out, is there some things you'd like the public to know about immigration enforcement in the Atlanta area of operations? There's certainly a lot of misinformation about what ICE does, um, not only here in Atlanta, really uh, across the country. Um, but we have a very specific Homeland Security uh, mission. Uh, our responsibility is to seek out and arrest and remove those aliens that pose a threat to national security and public safety. Um, when my officers go out in the field every day, they are looking for specific people. Um, they have an operational plan, um, and the arrest really is a culmination of all their hard work, surveillance, uh, et cetera, the investigative work that they do. Isn't it true that you have priorities that you are going and you're targeting um, very deliberately, but if you encounter somebody while you're going to apprehend that individual you targeted, who also is undocumented, they would be considered a quote-unquote collateral uh, encounter or arrest that you would take that person into custody and issue them a notice to appear. Can That's you correct. talk about that and elaborate on that? Um, sure. Uh, during the normal course of our targeted enforcement, we do encounter um, other individuals who are here in violation of immigration law. Um, but the Secretary, uh, former Secretary uh, Kelly, made it clear um, you know, in, in the policies on our priorities that we would not specifically exclude anyone from potential enforcement. Um, so if our officers do encounter somebody that is um, subject to removal or in the country legally, we will arrest them and take custody of them. Folks that are in this country illegally, they know, um, you know, when they sneak in the country, obviously, and, and often hide in the shadows, and, and they know that it's any point in, you know, while they're in the country illegally that they could be subject to enforcement. If I'm undocumented and I'm living in the Atlanta area of operations, Georgia, North Carolina, or South Carolina, what is your message to me? I would say that, uh, number one, obey the laws. Um, you know, a lot of our work is concentrated uh, on criminal aliens, on those who are charged criminally. Um, uh, I guess just be as law-abiding as you can uh, within, uh, you know, the normal everyday to day life. Um, you know, that you have a plan that if you are apprehended um, and subject to removal from this country that you have uh, a plan uh, in place uh, to depart this country. Um, and I guess probably the number one suggestion would, n would be uh, not to associate with criminal aliens. Because um, that's where a lot of folks, uh, a lot of um, undocumented immigrants are encountered is during our enforcement operations against criminal aliens. Right. So. And then what message do you have for DACA recipients? Um, the program is still in place, it's being phased out. Um, what will be enforcement like for those folks who have DACA in your area of operations? Um, we don't target for enforcement anybody that has DACA. Right. Um, it's up to Congress at this point to decide where we're going with DACA, but my, my officers don't target people with DACA. But if you have DACA in this country right now and you commit crimes, uh, it doesn't exclude you from enforcement. We will arrest you uh, and place you into removal proceedings if, if you're committing crimes in this country, whether you have DACA or not. What has changed then uh, with this new administration compared to the previous administration as regards to your enforcement? Um, I would say under the previous administration, we had very um, strict policies on prosecutorial discretion that really uh, fettered our, our, our officers. Um, you know, we were prevented from uh, enforcing the law as it's written. And under this administration, what they've asked us to do is enforce the law as it's written, and that's exactly what we're doing. Your um thoughts, your reactions to um, some of the local jurisdictions in the Atlanta area that are adopting policies or resolutions on ICE detainers? Well, I mean, I think it's, it's dangerous to put politics over public safety. Um, you know, when jurisdictions fail to honor ICE detainers, it has impacts um, within those particular communities. Um, you know, when we place a detainer on an individual, it's usually an individual that's committed a crime uh, or has committed a crime and is in the custody of a local law enforcement entity. Um, we place the detainers to show our interest. When they allow that person to go back into the community, they, they often reoffend. I would prefer to have my officers take custody of an individual, especially a criminal, um, within a very controlled environment, which the custodial environment is very safe uh, for our officers. But when the jurisdictions release them, my officers, like the fugitive operations teams that you saw in action, uh, have to go out um, they lose 
some tactical advantage when they go out on the street because they're arresting uh, criminals at their homes, their places of employment or in the public space. Recently, the Trump administration announced sort of their priorities. This was last week. They laid out what they'd like to see done in terms of immigration enforcement. One of the ideas is hiring additional 10,000 ICE officers. Can you tell me, is there a need for additional uh, staff, ICE officers within your area of operations, and, and for what, what type of work would they do? Um, where do you need them, and, and why? I would never say no to additional um, assistance, um, additional staffing. There's a lot of work in this region. Um, there's a lot of uh, criminal aliens within my three-state region. I certainly would um, welcome additional resources uh, to augment uh, the cur uh, my current portfolio, um, as well as to expand in areas where um, you know we don't have that immediate reach, uh, in other parts of the state where um, we could use an ICE officer to allow us to uh, more quickly address um, you know law enforcement concerns in that part of the state. And then, um, as you're aware, there was a detainee um, at Stewart Detention Center who hanged himself. Can you tell me your reaction to um, what happened to Mr. Jimenez and how Core Civic um, handled this case and, and monitored him? ICE has rigorous uh, performance um, based national detention standards and um, you know, re require anybody that has uh, an ICE contract to hold detainees follow those. Uh, very strict and rigorous um, standards. Um, you know, we expect our contractors to um, offer an environment that is appropriate and humane, uh, and all of our contractors do.